Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to get Siri up and running on your iPhone 4 using Spire with Assistant Connect. Now unfortunately this only works on the iPhone 4, it doesn't work on the iPhone 3GS, the original iPad, the iPad 2, the iPod Touch 3rd generation, or the iPod Touch 4th generation. And there is a major downside to it. You will have to have access to an iPhone 4S to repeat part of this process once a day. So the file that you send from the iPhone 4S to the iPhone 4 to get Spire to work without having access to a server actually expires, so you will have to do part of this process daily. But if you know someone who's generous enough to take a second out of their day and send you over their iPhone 4S file, or if you're living with someone who has an iPhone 4S, then this tutorial will be perfect for you. So now I'm going to show you guys that it does work. On the left hand side here, I have an iPhone 4. On the right hand side, I have the iPhone 4S. As you can see, there is a band break on the bottom on both of the iPhones. However, only the iPhone 4S has a break on the top. Now the iPhone 4 does have a break right here, whereas the iPhone 4S does not. And on the other side, it's the same exact thing. The iPhone 4S has a break at the bottom and at the top, whereas the iPhone 4 simply has it at the bottom. So. Now I'm just going to show you guys that it does work on the iPhone 4 by activating Siri. Hello Siri. Hello. What's the weather like in Los Angeles, California? Here's the forecast for Los Angeles, California today through this Thursday. All right, so Siri does work on the iPhone 4, and what I'm going to do is show you what needs to be done on the iPhone 4S first. So we can set the iPhone 4 aside, and the iPhone 4S does need to be jailbroken. If the iPhone 4S you're using isn't jailbroken, you can check out the jailbreak video that's down below in the more info. I will have a link to it. Once you are jailbroken, you can come back and continue with this tutorial. So open up Cydia, and you only need one thing from Cydia, and that is Assistant Connect. So I'm just going to search for it. It should be one of the only things that comes up when you search for Assistant Connect, and you're actually going to download Assistant Connect 4S. It's from the Big Boss repository, so you do not need to add any custom repos. It will just be there. All right, so once you hit install, confirm, it will respring your iPhone 4S when it finishes, and once it has finished respringing, and once you're back, you can go inside of Assistant Connect, and then what you're going to have to do is reboot. Don't do anything, just open it up and reboot. So turn your device off, and once it finishes turning off, you will be able to turn it on. Now I'm just going to set it down, and I will cut this part of the video out until it finishes rebooting. All right, so once it has turned on, just slide to unlock, and then you can go back into Assistant Connect. And then all you have to do is activate Siri. Hello. And you just have to say something. Hello, Garrett Tanner. And wait for Siri to respond. Once Siri has responded, you can just hit the home button and then hit email Siri data. Now we'll have your iPhone 4S Assistant Connect file right there. And all you need to do is put in where you want it to send and then just send the email. Now you will have to have access to the email. All right, so now that you've done that, that's really all you need to do with the iPhone 4S for now. And you can come over to the iPhone 4. By the way, this has to be jailbroken as well. So if you aren't jailbroken on your iPhone 4, I'll have a link to my jailbreak video down below in the more info. Once you are jailbroken, you can come back and continue with this tutorial. Now, same thing, let Cydia load up. Once it finishes loading, you will need to download three things. I'm just gonna hit cancel there because I don't need it to refresh. You're going to need to download Spire, that's S-P-I-R-E, and once you've found it, install it. Now you can queue this and install all three things at once. However, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's best that you just install them separately. So once you've searched for and downloaded Spire, you will need to install a Assistant Connect, it's right here, and it's again from the Big Boss repository, just like Assistant Connect 4S. And once you've found it, you just hit install, confirm, and then you'll need one last thing, and that's SB settings. So simply install SB settings, and once you have all of those things installed, then you can come back to your device, go inside of settings, and you're going to go to General Siri, 
and you're going to enable Siri. Now this will be disabled by default. It will look like this. And then all you have to do is turn it on and hit enable Siri and then Siri will be enabled. Now you will notice that at the bottom, we do have a section for Spire inside of settings. However, we're not going to enter anything in there because we do not need access to a Siri server. So you don't need to worry about any of the settings inside of Spire. Once you have turned on Siri inside of settings, you're going to have to activate SB settings by default. Just swipe over on the status bar, go to more. And once SB settings loads up, scroll to the bottom, go to mobile substrate add-ons, and you will need to turn off Spire hooks and Spire injector, both of which will be turned on by default. You need to turn them off. And then once they're both turned off, you can simply hit the home button and it will respring your device. Mine isn't actually respringing because they are already turned off. It didn't actually make any changes, but once you turn yours from on to off, then you will respring when you hit the home button. And we're basically doing that so nothing conflicts with Spire. Now, once you've done that, once you're back up after disabling those two things, you will need to go inside of your mail application and access that assistant connect file. All right, so I'm just going to load up mail and I have the message right here and simply go to the attachment assistant connect for us and then go open in assistant connect and it will open it up in assistant connect. It'll say file copied assistant connect file loaded successfully and you can hit dismiss and at the top it says your assistant connect data will expire on and mine says February 19th, 2012 at 1153 Pacific time. Now, like I said, in order to have this working all of the time, you will will need to send yourself a fresh assistant connect file. However, the process won't be quite as lengthy. So I'm going to get into that after I tell you what to do once you've loaded the file onto your iPhone 4 with assistant connect. So you can just hit the home button now and you can open up SB settings or whatever you normally use to respring your iPhone 4 and just hit respring. And once your iPhone 4 is back, Siri will work. Now, in order to keep this running, like I said, you will have to use Assistant Connect on the iPhone 4S to regenerate your keys. So in order to do that, all you have to do is go into it the next day. And once it loads up, all you have to do is activate Siri again, say something, and once it recognizes what you said, just hit the home button and you can hit email Siri data and then email it to that email address again where you have access to it on your iPhone 4 and then simply open up that Assistant Connect 4S file on your iPhone 4 using Assistant Connect and that will basically refresh it and you'll still be able to use Siri on the iPhone 4 even after that 24 hours has passed since you last used the Assistant Connect 4S file. And I also just wanted to say that you cannot give your iPhone 4S file away to more than five people because then Apple might catch on and they could possibly disable Siri for everybody including the iPhone 4s and then the keys for the iPhone 4s will not work anymore and it won't be able to use Siri so that's just a heads up make sure you take that into account when you're doing this because you do not want Siri to be disabled on your iPhone 4s also this only works for the iPhone 4 it doesn't work for any other iDevice and it's extremely simple to use especially since it doesn't require the use of a paid server it's free. I mean, as long as you know somebody with an iPhone 4S that can help you out. But if you do have a device other than an iPhone 4, and if you guys want to see how to get Siri up and running on the iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4th and 3rd generation, the original iPad and even the iPad 2, then you can check out the video that's down below in the more info. But remember, you will need access to a Spire server. So I hope you guys like this video. If you have any comments, leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to rate it up if it helped you. And also, also hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified every time I release new videos. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.